What a nightmare. This is traffic trying to get over the George Washington Bridge during rush hour. It's like a game of Pac Man. Those that lose patience often turn to navigation apps like Waze to circumvent highway traffic, detouring onto local roads. Our town will go border to border with complete standstill traffic. Uh, it, again, it compromises public safety because we cannot get to calls quickly enough. This is also a major conduit to three area hospitals. Now, the borough of Leonia says it is out. Out of business as a cut through. We're going to be closing as many as 60 uh, secondary and tertiary roads between the hours of 6 and 10 a.m. in the morning and 4 and 9 p.m. at night. Um, this is seven days a week, too, because the traffic occurs seven days a week. Uh, Sunday nights, we have significant bridge traffic. Local side streets will be closed with do not enter signs. Those that try to cheat the system will be fined $200. We will be working with Waze, so it's put into their algorithm that these streets are out of play. So the vehicles on the highway should no longer see this as a viable cut through. Residents and people who work in town will be exempt and given bright yellow hanging tags for their vehicles to indicate they belong. So what do locals think? I think it should help. It's, it's been pretty bad lately. It sounds good, but I don't know. We don't have enough police to police it. With 9,000 residents, Leonia only has a police force of 18 officers. So it's all hands on deck during rush hour. Chief Rowe believes this new plan will also help Fort Lee because drivers will usually veer off into Leonia and wind their way through Fort Lee towards the GWB. Won't be doing that any longer. In Leonia, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. And Meg says those new restrictions are set to take place January 15th.